So my name's Craig, uh, I work for a company called Operation Play Outdoors. Um, we run outdoor learning uh, and play um, company. We deliver a series of workshops and programmes uh, across Scotland uh, with people of all ages and all abilities, uh, from nursery all the way up to elderly groups. Um, and we've been invited, invited down uh, to part of Community Grown Project to deliver some willow weaving workshops uh, over the next uh, month. Uh, delivering a series of kind of willow projects uh, for the space and for people to make things to take away um, and it's all about uh, getting folks outdoors and uh, giving them a, a space to socialize to chat with each other uh, to feel relaxed uh, and to get out in the winter particularly as well it's um, you know one thing we're quite often doing is uh, cooping ourselves up over the winter and this gives people an opportunity to get out and try something for free and, and try something uh, new as well. Um, and each week we come down, we have a series of different things that people can make. Um, that ranges from platters to baskets to doing some lanterns. Uh, but we also allow a lot of creativity in uh, the projects we're doing. So we'll kind of showcase uh, some of the items that you can make and then people are welcome to try and experiment with the willow and see what they can come up with. My, my background in outdoor education, I work, uh, worked previously with a lot of uh, children uh, initially in uh, the start of my career uh, about you know doing outdoor sports, getting them outside uh, and from there that's kind of growing arms and legs and uh, taking a, a kind of route into working with adults uh, delivering a series of workshops which could range from bushcraft to what we're doing today, willow weaving, outdoor cooking, foraging, um, nature walks and um, yeah it's all about tailoring that program to fit the needs and uh, interests of the groups that we work with so we'll approach our clients and, and ask them like, what are you looking to achieve, what are your uh, goals for a particular session or project and then we'll kind of tailor the program to fit their needs. Uh, and this program came about because we previously worked uh, with some of the members uh, in the Partic community um, through a mental health project that we delivered and um, they, were, they were keen to bring us back and do more work uh, and this time round we'd done some willow uh, weaving with them in the past through that project and they were keen to explore that uh, theme more uh, and try uh, different things to make um, so we've came up with this four week program to. Uh, to try that and, and try different things um, but yeah that was working with folk uh, in a woodland environment doing a, a series of uh, outdoor sessions on a weekly basis um, and again that ranged from doing some outdoor cooking to doing photography in the woods to tai chi in the woods uh, and every program we do is uh, we take into the, the account you know people's uh, abilities and interests and, and they help shape that program so from week one with the willow workshop people have told us what they like what they don't like and we come back with different ideas as well so we want to make sure they're at the, the heart uh, of everything that we deliver uh, and they're interested at the heart of that um, and then you know the, the bigger picture is just about getting folks out and, and using all these uh, lovely green spaces that we have within the city of Glasgow. Uh, this one, uh, the Grown Project, is tucked away off a busy road and most folk probably wouldn't know that it's here. Uh, but it's a great community space and, and something that works really well for the workshops that we are uh, delivering today and, and over the next few weeks. Uh, and the great thing is, you know, anything that we make uh, or anything that we bring in terms of resources, uh, the community can then use uh, for further projects down the line, but they can also use to add to the space. So uh, some of the stuff that they're weaving today, some of the stuff they're making, they'll then weave up within the plot for other people to see and uh, for other people to get some inspiration from. Uh, and they've also uh, done some kind of Kelly Kettle and Fire uh, workshops. We've done that in the past with them as well. So we've shown them how to use uh, this kit safely. Uh, talk people in the community uh, how these things work and then from there they've got that to then use any time they want to come down to the uh, project space have a cup of tea and a blether uh, in the garden area they've got those resources there to make the tea. We've not worked directly uh, with the City Council uh, but we've certainly worked with uh, many clients who are partnered with them um, and we do often have to ask um, permission to use a lot of these green spaces um, but we're very supportive of, of their kind of ambitions to get folks outdoors. Uh, we've got that same ethos, uh, and they're a very uh, supportive uh, uh, organisation to to be linked with uh, because they have, you know, such a uh, 
a wide variety of spaces in the city and, and they're very keen to promote uh, you know, getting outdoors. Uh, so they're certainly a, uh, a great partner uh, to have in any uh, kind of future project. These spaces, I think a lot of folk think of as a, a plot, as a, a working space and, and not necessarily as a, a social um, opportunity or a, a kind of gathering space. Um, and a lot of people feel that if they don't have the plot, they're not necessarily allowed to use these spaces. And I think the, the community project here are, are showing folk that that's not necessarily the case. You don't have to come down and know everything about gardening to, to come into a plot. Uh, the folk that are taking part in our willow weaving have never done that in the past before, but they've just shown up uh, members of the community and learned how to do it. Uh, and from there, uh, get involved. Uh, in the workshop, learning how to do some of these things and the best part is they're getting to meet other people within the community as well and uh, share some of their thoughts uh, on the space and uh, what they like about uh, living in the community. Uh, and it's, it's great, it's got the facilities here to you know, allow us to, to run group sessions and it's a very relaxed environment uh, and it's close to everyone as well because uh, I think a lot of folk think uh, when they go outdoors that they have to you know, get in the car, get in the bus to go somewhere and it's not the case. You know, we've got so much available space on our doorstep and, and this being a great example of that. Uh, backs onto many flats, uh, many members of the community are uh, down at the workshops. Uh, you know, they can come out the front door and they've got this great space available to them uh, and they're here for a few hours, get to chat uh, and you know, see how people are doing.